Now let us formally define the two statements for the second law of thermodynamics. The first statement is called the Kelvin Planck statement. Uh, this relates to heat engines. Okay. And the second statement is the Clausius statement and this relates to a heat pump or a refrigerator. Okay. The underlying principle is the same for both of them. Let us have a look at the Kelvin Planck statement first. It is a very easy statement, you can read about it in the book also, but I will just give you the understanding of it. Okay. Now, when you have a heat engine, you have a high temperature source, you have a low temperature sink, you have a heat engine in between, you absorb, your heat engine is absorbing some heat from that high temperature source and it converts some work output. Now, as per the Kelvin Planck statement, it says that there is no such engine which converts equal amount of work output, you know, which is equal to the amount of heat input. Or you can say that you cannot have any engine possible in the universe which has zero heat rejection. So, this is not possible. So, this is what the Kelvin Planck statement says that you cannot have a heat engine which is operating between two temperature limits and it has no heat rejection effect. That is you cannot have 100% efficiency. This is not possible at all. Okay. So, this is what the Kelvin Planck statement tells. Now, if you come to the Clausius statement which deals with the heat pumps or you know refrigerators or you can say energy consuming devices. Again, it says that there cannot be any device which is working under two temperature limits that can spontaneously or automatically deliver heat from low temperature to high temperature. You need to have some work input. Means as per the Clausius statement, your work input cannot be zero. So right now it is zero. There is no work input. So this kind of a device is not possible. So spontaneous flow of heat from low temperature source to high temperature source is not possible spontaneously. You need to have or you should have some energy input which is making this unnatural flow to take place. Okay. So, this is what these two statements are all about. I hope you understood the concept uh, you know, on the Kelvin Planck and the Clausian statement. So, now we are done with the second law of thermodynamics. I hope you understood all the basic components and concepts in it. Now let's move on to a very important topic which is also an application of the second law of thermodynamics and start talking about entropy. So the entire video series that we are going to do after this video will be dedicated to entropy. So now let's move on to entropy.